welcome in. Today we're going to be talking about ranked. Ranked, is it good? Is it bad? As you can see, the tile is absolutely atrocious. They did release a blog, though, explaining all the reasons, all the things that they're going to do, and all the things that they're doing and how it yes, works. Let it out. Ah! There's another one around the corner. Can you guys shut your mouths, please. They go basically. Crazy get... Stop being Fuck! Dogs. They basically go on to say uh, how we all what we all know about the ranked mode. You get the rewards, how it climbs up. You don't get the rewards to the end of the season. And first of all, I was pissed off that you only got Samurai Jack, and you might say, "Oh yeah, but to have every skin is just not reasonable." Ugh. Yeah, but I have every skin, and then someone in my chat recently just said, "Have a token, a master token, and I have every skin have this kind of skin." uh layout maybe they'll be different every season but at the very least i hope they have it for every character not just every new character from here on out because i want my superman so you have to have an account level five and you can't use characters on rotation ranking up and ranked points you get the rp points new ranks yep uh, all the stuff that we know there's five div divisions in each, each rank and if you win you go up and each fighter in ones has its own and twos has its own fighter placement so Velma could be bronze and my Superman could be master, which that's the case. And then here's the juicy part we'll read. To break this all down, matchmaking rating, which is MMR, if you didn't know, determines who your opponents are in multiverses. We use skill-based matchmaking. We use skill-based matchmaking to match you with players of similar skill level. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, and an effort to provide you with the best ranked experience that you can have, which is hilarious. We want ranked mode to feel competitive and rewarding, so playing against stronger players helps you climb higher overall the, over the long run. There is a lot of math involved, but let's just say we're working toward having a system that challenges you with the great opponents of similar levels. Now this is where it just doesn't make any sense because they come out and say, we have uh, different rankings individually for 2v2 and 1v1 for each fighter. So my Superman is master rank and my Taz is silver. Right, that sounds all good and fun because because based on each character, you're going to be better on... I'm going to be better on Superman, I'm going to be worse on Taz because I don't play him. But the problem is, the way you gain rank in this game now, I don't know the actual coding and the math, but from my experience and from other people's experience, it seems to me that it's just basing your skill level on your account, your skill, your hidden MMR, not each individual character, because there's masters going against gold, there's masters going against a lot of masters against silvers, and sometimes I've seen master going against bronze on a new character because it's basing it off your skill level. So what's the point of a goddamn rank if it's just gonna put you, oh my, against this different ranks and with that then they use a system based on that system if you're master and you lose to a bronze you lose way more even though you're going against a similar skilled match that's making fucking sense and then if you even if you win against that gold player or bronze player or whatever you only gain like four to eight some people have even gotten three rp and i might add you need a hundred rp for each division so 500 rp to to each rank that is ridiculous! So that is a huge problem right now. And it's not, it doesn't make it fun to play. They did fix the best of threes, but the problem is the way you have to play, the games feel like they take forever because you have to sit on the side and just, because you're trying to win, right? And not only that, I disconnect in between matches so then I get a 10 IRP penalty and I get locked out because they haven't fixed their disconnects. That's just a whole nother issue. But ranked itself, with how it is now, there shouldn't even be different rankings for each character. One, they either need to actually make it based on the rank and stop catering to this stupid hidden MMR system, especially when you have separate ranking for each character. Make it so it's based on the rank. And one, why do fighting games do this? Why do you start out at bronze? There should be five placement matches because the placement matches are the ones that base your rating, not your previous casual games where you could be trolling and play like an idiot and jumping off and not trying to win. So why is it based it off that uh, skill matchmaking mmr and not based on your ranking when people are actually trying to win why is there not a rank system that goes maybe 10 matches you'll find a ranked that's what should that's what should determine your rank it's like oh wait congratulations you're in bronze i hate the system bronze and silver mean absolutely dog shit nothing why is it just oh yeah basically you're guaranteed to get out of bronze and silver then when you hit gold then you lose stuff that is so bad. Why is that the case? You should be able to lose rank in bronze. You should be able to lose rank in silver. 
Play 10 games. Oh, look, I shit on this bronze player. Go up 500 points. Oh, look, you're still shitting on these gold players. Go up 100 points. Okay, you shit on that gold player. 100 points. You know, it's trying to gauge where you're at. That's the whole point of plays and matches. And the only way you can do skill-based matches, man. You see how heated I am? I can't, my brain can't even keep up with my words. Or my mouth can't even keep up with my brain. When you have a good rank system, then they fully, they slowly fall in line. Then over time of the seasons, then you can have skill-based matchmaking because you're like, oh, this guy placed master the past three seasons. This is, like, we don't know where people stand. This is a brand new game. Why do you have, why do you have it in MMR? Why do you have skill-based matchmaking in a brand new game that people are still figuring it out? You just barely came out of the ranked. It makes no sense. Such a chore to be playing this when you know that you might only gain three or lose a hundred. Get the cheeks out of here. Is your overall ranked system, like the idea of it good? Yeah, I like that there's a leaderboard that's really fun. And don't get me started on day one. Day one was even worse because you would gain like 25 and you'd only lose six. People were getting masters day one and two. And it's like, then they did a shadow nerf that they didn't even tell us about where people are actually losing more and gaining, but it's still broken. And they're saying that, oh wait, we don't want to add rank because our game is unbalanced. Yeah, right! You didn't want to add rank because you don't even know how to add it in. I know I'm being frustrated, but this is genuinely uh, trying to give feedback. How you fix it? Ranked play some matches, make it so you lose in bronze and silver, make it so you lose the same amount. You lose 25 or 20, because 20, that's another thing that you need to increase the amount you gain. Let's say a master and a master go together. They're both master five. What? It also should tell you how much you're going to gain and lose. Now, you should never go against a master and a gold. That should never happen. Ever. In the rare cases that it's due to matchmaking times, it should be master and maybe a diamond. Maybe you lose a point for every division lower they are. Diamond three. That means he's in your master five. That's like minus three points. So you only get 17 for the win. But if the diamond player wins, they get 23 points. It should never be a master going against a plat player. That is ridiculous. That is so bad. Yeah, this is yapping. Yapping video. Yapping video! You love my yapping, don't you? Another thing. Instead of making individual ranks for 2v2, make it so any group you're in has your own rank. If I group with Max, we play together. We're silver because he's dog shit. And I'm trying to carry him, but I can't because he's that bad. <laughs> If it was Schism or, or Mafia, it kind of gathers how good we are as a team. Oh, wait, we're Plat and Diamond. It should not be based on character specific. And get rid of solo queuing duo ranked. It's fucking ranked for crying out loud. Why would you not require a teammate? Go play casual if you're playing by yourself. I don't like it. Play ones. You can keep ones the same with ones being each individual's rank. I've probably had repetition, but I'm trying to get my point across on how to fix ranks because this is a competitive game. Oh, crazy! It's just a game. You're getting mad over a game. Why do you think they have ranked in video games to show how good you are, to show what you're what you're capable of and your potential? That's my vented feedback. That's my vented frustration on the rank system. Uh, I'm glad it's here, but needs improvements. Let me know your thoughts down below of what you think the ranked should be or any anything added to what I said. Or oh, that crazies, I love you very much. Thank you all for watching. Let us say good night and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies! Goodbye, crazies! I love you, crazies! Goodbye! <laughs>